Hello. So this is my clip about my Audi A2 1.2 TDI. This is <coughs> how it looks. Full aluminium body. Uh, it was called an Audi Space Frame when it came. I know that the Audi A8 also used uh, aluminium. And uh, so you can see, this is what it looks like. It doesn't maybe look very uh, aerodynamic, but it actually has a uh, drag co efficiency of about. 0.25 so that's pretty awesome it's uh, I would say it's equal to uh, the Honda Insight generation 1 which was produced between 99 and uh, 03 and um, yeah as you might be able to see the the windshield uh, is really big I mean it's huge uh, and if you look at it this way you can get the feeling uh, the dynamics of this car. yeah well we can have a look inside the car as well it has a pretty nice storage area here as you might see it's not <laughs> the biggest but it's it's absolutely functional that there we go okay and uh, this is what it looks like inside uh, I this this is not original I just bought this because I wanted to protect the original seat covers uh, it's quite roomy actually adults won't have any problems sitting inside um, it's like, uh, yeah, I would say it's it's perfectly fine for a super mini, and uh, I gotta fix this. This wasn't too good. Okay, um, you have like uh, some small headlight here if you want to turn it on when you open the door. This is pretty practical I mean the interior is pr pretty pretty look, look, luxurious if, if I would say so myself um, big nice fat steering wheel and um, um, this setup of colors uh, I think it's really nice I love uh, light colored interiors uh, it's so boring and when it's in black it's always black nowadays but this is what it looks like uh, yeah all right let's move to the, the other side. yeah well so the reason why I made this clip is because uh, I love this car and uh, I would like to see something like this produced today maybe not with aluminium if it's very expensive but maybe um, some alternative to steel. Um, I know there's a Canadian company trying to make uh, cars uh, from a hemp composite. That's really interesting. I would like to see that, that happen one day. Uh, it's a pretty safe car as well. I mean, of course, driver airbag, passenger airbag, and uh, also side curtain airbag, which was quite phenomenal back in 2001 um, I will show you the crash testing as well um, and um, it's this car let's see I mean it's um, I bought it two years ago and it's gone uh, 270,000 kilometers uh, still going strong. Um, I'm happy if I can go maybe 400,000 kilometers with it before it dies. Uh, <laughs> when it dies, I guess it's time for a 
uh, Nissan uh, next next year generation it's Nissan Leaf or maybe a Tesla Model 3 who knows uh, but uh, I really like this car and the fuel consumption is really good that and this is why I'm making this clip because also sorry uh, uh, it is extremely fuel efficient um, you can reach on paper you should be able to reach 0 0.27 uh, liters per 10 kilometers uh, did I say that it run, runs on diesel? Uh, you can also use 100% biodiesel on the, in this car and, and the fuel consumption is almost identical um, might be a slight difference when you're driving in town but when you're in driving highway speeds or 70 or 80 kilometers uh, per hour then then uh, then it's basically identical uh, that's great I, I use biodiesel about eight months uh, per year uh, the remain the remaining four months would be in, in during the winter and uh, it's not optimal during winter so I use uh, regular diesel, uh, e Evolution diesel from Prime during that time. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's really good. I bought it for about five thousand three hundred euros, uh, forty nine thousand five hundred Swedish crowns. Um, I think f think it was a pretty good deal. And uh, <laughs> this is funny. Uh, it says you should not go uh, over 190 kilometers per hour in this car for your own safety and this is of course uh, why th this sticker is here is because uh, in Germany you got Autobahn and people can drive <laughs> really fast there so but still you know going 190 kilometers in this car this small Super Mini is pretty cool uh, I haven't done it myself though I don't think I will <laughs> uh, this is pretty practical coffee cup uh, handle. Um, another thing which I like is the 12 volt outlet which will give you the opportunity to uh, recharge your smartphone uh, while uh, the car is off and you're uh, out doing other stuff you know um that's very I think it's really handy I like that the battery is a uh, pretty big battery uh, 70 amp hours and I think the reason for that is uh, because you could actually uh, call this car uh, one of the first micro hybrids I know the Lupo Lupo Volkswagen Lupo 3L have the same setup where you are driving and you um, come to a stoplight you push the brakes and uh, uh, sorry and uh, the car uh, shuts off completely and then you release the brake and uh, and the engine starts fires back up uh, you can um, uh, you can just press the this echo button if you want to disengage that function that's really good because sometimes it can become a little bit uh, uh, awkward when you're in driving in, in city environments so I usually do it if there's a lot of start and stop traffic. I mean, if 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 there's like a signal when where you know you have to wait for a long, long time, then it's then it's pretty ideal. Uh, anyway, so um, I think uh, there are about two hundred and seventy of these cars uh, in Sweden. I've seen three others of the one point two TDI version. Um, I think there are about 6,500 uh, left in the world, so it's a pretty rare car indeed. <coughs> Sorry. Um, um, during this summer, I saw some German tourists, and they were like just staring. 
at my car. So I I suppose it has some sort of uh, cult status, uh, like uh, there there is some some uh, emotions <laughs> behind this little car. Um, and I mean, I understand why because I really love this car, and uh, it's uh, it's a lot of car for uh, for such a small package. Uh, and I think uh, the BMW i3 got a lot of uh, um, inspiration from this car. I'm going to show you uh, um, some comparison pictures. You'll get the idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's it basically. Thanks and bye bye.